NASA works by science. O-rings better work. Uh, the amount of energy, the thrust needed to lift and free ourselves from gravity. The mathematics involved in setting an arc there because you want to land over there. All that's mathematical. But science fiction is totally imaginative. It's the exact opposite. What happens if light that is bent and you could go through the center and make it quick? There, is, there all these imaginative uh, exercises in science fiction is merely food for the imagination of scientists who are actually working with technology that is. Imagine sending a vehicle to take a photograph of Pluto and come around and take around and then move around and keep going. But you can't do that on a motorcycle. I mean, you know, you set your course on a motorcycle. If you don't hit your, 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 your line, you're going to fall. Oh, you're taking around there. It's phenomenal what NASA is doing with science that is, when you look at it, is the equal of uh, science fiction. How are you going to make a parachute that's going to stop a vehicle and pop, it pops out and it's going to stop it? It's not a miracle. How much line do you need? What should the material be? How do you slow it down before the... And then you got to send a signal and is it seven or nine minutes later the signal... I mean it's it's science fiction. Shadows that cross in front of a star that suggest there's a planet. And it's big enough planet to be the size of the M1 of the Earth. Is it possible that life exists on that planet that's only a shadow in a telescope? Those are the imaginative things that NASA are looking at that's every bit as passionately imaginative as science fiction. But you guys are working on it. It's incredible.